The Potter Valley Tribe and Meta Mimicry are excited to let you know that as of February 2022, a community mushroom lab has been constructed, available for your use. What the heck is a community mushroom lab, you ask? Unlike plants, growing mushrooms and fungi means you need to make a clean space in order to start the process. This is because they need to start in a controlled environment in order to grow exactly what you want to. You grow mushrooms through spores or through cloning by using a piece of the mushroom tissue. These spores or tissues are placed inside a petri dish with a clean growing medium such as agar and a little nutrients such as malt. If all goes well, the mushroom roots known as mycelium will start to grow. Once it is grown out, you take pieces of these and put them in a grain. Then you wait for the grain to become covered in mycelium. Now you have what is called spawn, which is like having a concentrated bunch of mushroom pieces to spread like seeds. You take your spawn and you grow it on many different types of materials known as substrate. Most commonly used substrates are sawdust, wood chips, and straw. But mushrooms can grow on many things that we consider waste, such as cardboard, coffee grounds, brewer's waste, and plant stalks. They are often grown in bags, but can be grown in buckets, logs, or outside in chipped areas. Once the spawn spreads the mycelium onto the substrate, you put them in a fruiting area or grow room, which can be indoor or outdoor. You would never want your fruiting room to be the same as your lab, because once the mushrooms fruit, they start to spread their spores, and that would get everywhere, making it dirty in the lab. The main part of a lab is the laminar flow hood. The flow hood has a powerful fan and a highly rated filter that work together to push the clean air in one direction. The rest of the lab and the people in the lab try to stay as clean as possible, thus making it possible to start the process of growing mushrooms. You can do many things with the mushroom lab. You can grow mushrooms, and even better, you can grow mushrooms that are specialized to the surrounding environment. Let's say you're out mushroom hunting and find a group of oyster mushrooms. You can set one of these aside, take it into the lab, take a very small piece, grow it out in a petri dish, transfer it onto grain, spread that grain into straw-filled buckets, set them aside, and voila! In about five to 10 weeks, you could have pounds of mushrooms from one little itty-bitty piece. Of course, you can eat these mushrooms. You can make medicine, you could sell them, sell the medicine, sell the spawn, even sell agar plates and blank grain bags for people without a lab. With a lab, you can also experiment with remediator mushrooms from micro-remediation projects. The same oyster mushroom spawn you were growing for food could be used instead to grow in straw-filled burlap wattles for post-fire mediation, like the group Cohen Noodle is experimenting with in Sonoma County. You can even train mushrooms through selecting for certain traits. A community mushroom lab is also an accessible way for people to learn basic lab techniques. You can work together to identify species of mushrooms by using microscopes, identification books, and websites. A community lab can act as a spore for mushroom projects and a mycelium-esque gathering space for sharing ideas and nerding out about all things mushrooms.